Now then everybody and welcome back. I am Tom the Big Little Farmer. Don't forget if you haven't already hit that subscribe button. Today we are out, you can see on the back I've got the cedar on. Uh, the six acre field, just having to drive around. I have to come back with mole traps, as you can see. There's moles digging up all over again in this field. I've caught eight moles in this field already. We got to the point where I couldn't see. Got to the point there was that much grass on, I couldn't see uh, where they was digging up. So we left it, mold it, and I'm going to come back with mole traps again. But today we're sowing some clover seeds. This field it grows near this really nice grass. There's no clover in it at all. And I quite like clover. Being a legume crop, it takes a lot of nitrogen out of the air and puts it in the soil. So anything you can do to get nitrogen without having to buy it, it could only be a bonus. So I'll just show stop here now and show you what we've got. So it's just a little uh, stock cedar. Just ratchet strap on back at quad. Got me, uh, me seed. Uh, Have a dairy clover blend. So I've never actually just sold clover before. We hummed and hard which was the best way to do it. Some people said just put it in lagoon and mix it in with slurry but then it only needs like five loads so might not get any some people said put it in with till put it in till so we will probably settle to the bottom and all end up on one side of the field so we decided we've got this little sower satin building so we may as well get it out and use it although we've no um, setting chart for it so it's basically just a case of suck it and see but it's really fine seed so I'm going to set it at one I'll just put one bag in for a start and uh, see how far we get I don't want to put it all in and uh, put it all in and run out halfway across the field so if I put one bag in we'll see where we end up so yeah let's get on with it see how uh, fine that seed is. Move around a bit near for the very small seeds. It's a little fly fruit machine. to go, I have no idea, so it really is just trial and error. We've simply just got a car battery, pocket our clip, flick it on, it should start spinning. Yeah, we're working, you'll probably not be able to hear it, but uh, I'll talk to that a little bit, do I? That looks a bit better. And let's go on the... Uh, sorry, it's a bit shaky here on front of the quad. stable that is it I 
shut door. Stop filming this or I'll lose my phone. <laughs> anyway. So I'm just putting a second bag in now. It um hang on, I'll put that down a sec. I've probably done just over half at field and I haven't quite used all the first bag. So I'll alter my settings a bit and uh, carry on and slow down a bit. We'll get this board in now. So I'd rather do it twice than run out, so it's not a big job going over the field again, is it? And there. Look that, open that up. A little bit on the thing there, but uh, we'll clean that out. So I've just opened the door. Like that. I altered the door so it's open fully wide as well. There we go. When that stops being in, I'll just flip that onto the disc. Most of it will probably bounce out. So I've got back to the farm. So I'll just set this off again now and clean that off. There. Easy as that. So when I altered the settings, I must have opened it a little bit too much. We didn't quite do it all again, so probably done it one and a half times. So there'll definitely be, uh, look at it there, as a gate, there'll definitely be more clover in this side of the field than there is at this side. But it doesn't matter, any's better than none to me. So, right, we shall head back now, back to the farm. So it's a couple of days now since we sold the clover seed. As you can see, I'm back in the same field with the slurry tanker today. Put a bit of slurry on it. This is some slurry we're getting from Mason, Rob Mason, my best mate, next door. We took it to here in winter when he just put his big new lagoon up. We were running short of storage, so we took it to him. So I just took it up so I could spread this six acre all year. But he's literally like 500 yard down the road. So it just made sense. This is my first load. Here's a bottle load to an acre, so should hopefully be done for dinner time. It's about quarter to eleven, so it won't take long. So we're just filling up again now. This will be the fifth load. So we're just sucking out at slats. You can see that's where his old slurry tower used to be. So he's got a pipe set up now for filling the new one. Instead of moving, he said we were going to move past, so instead of moving past, I may as well suck it straight out at slats. Old 4 6 beast mucking out, though. So it's a bit hard to work with hydraulic, uh, hydraulic valves when you're filling manually at back. Usually at Allen's Lagoon, we just back in. It's on a ramp, so you just back down ramp, back wheels go into the slurry. And we have a short pipe on the bend. Filling it up makes life easy, you don't need to get off tractor. In a bit, you can see the show field. 
Got the show field there, and the muck on my fingers. That's Grant Custom Show, we'll be there this weekend. I say we're showing cattle on the Saturday, and then on the Sunday we're there with everybody else. Also, um, there was 29 bales on the field, while I remember. And one guest got it right. Well, that was also Mr. Mason from here, who I think I told. Or, it seen me drive past, so he knew how many there was anyway. So his doesn't count, he was cheating. But someone did guess 28, I think. I think they was nearest. I can't remember the name, I'll have to go out and have a look. Shut the back door, come back round here. We've got like a suck a load of air in that the muck runs back in. Ugh. Not supposed to do that though. And there's a piece of string here for hanging it up. Just like that. Well that's it, this field done now, just padlock the gates again, six loads just over, but uh, jobs are good in, if you're at Great Egg Show this weekend don't forget to come and say hello to everybody, we'll all be there on Sunday, so anyway, thanks again for watching everybody, and we'll catch you in the next one, cheers, bye.